Hi everyone, this video is an updated version of my previous coding on Chromebook with Python video. It's meant to get you up and running so you can start coding Python on your Chromebook. So in this video, I'll show you how to install Visual Studio Code and set it up for Python coding. What you'll need to get this working is Linux installed on your Chromebook. If you don't have Linux installed, check out my video showing you how to do this. I'll provide a link in the description. I'm also going through this process using a Chromebook with an Intel processor. If you have a Chromebook with an ARM processor, then these instructions might not work. Unfortunately, I don't own an ARM Chromebook, so I can't confirm if this works for them. To find out what kind of Chromebook you have, bring up a terminal window then type lscpu. Some info will come up. In the architecture section, if it says x86 64, then you have an Intel Chromebook. Otherwise, you have an ARM Chromebook. Let's now get on with setting up Python. First, let's install Visual Studio Code. Open a web browser and type code.visualstudio.com forward slash download. Here, you want to click on the .deb download, but if you have an ARM Chromebook, you want to download the ARM64 link that's listed here. For me, I'll just click on the main .deb link to download. The download will soon start and you will see the progress on the bottom right. When the download is done, click on the show in folder text to open the downloads folder. On the downloaded file, right click it and select install with Linux beta. Click the install button again and the installation of Visual Studio Code will begin. The progress of the install will be at the bottom right. When the installation is done, Visual Studio Code will be in your app launcher like it is here. Click on it to run it. And here we have Visual Studio Code open. Okay, so the next step is to set up the Python environment for Visual Studio Code. First, let's make sure we have the latest version of Python installed. Open up a terminal. On the terminal window, type sudo app get update. When that command is done executing, type sudo app get upgrade. To test to see if Python is installed, type python3 space dash capital V and you should see a Python version. Now let's install the pip package manager. This is important because it lets you install third-party packages to extend the features of Python. To install it, type sudo app get install python3 dash pip. The next step is to set up Visual Studio Code to use Python. Before I open Visual Studio Code, I'm going to create a folder where I'm going to store the sample Python project I'm creating for this video. This folder must be in the Linux files area. You can create and name a folder wherever you want in that area. Once you create the folder where you are going to save the project to, right click on the folder and then click on open with terminal. A terminal window sets your folder will open. Now let's open Visual Studio Code using this folder. Type code space, period. And here we have the application open. Time to install the Python extension. Click on View, Extensions. On the results that come up on the left, there is a Python result with Microsoft as the publisher. Click on its Install button. When the install is done, we want to tell Visual Studio Code what Python interpreter to use. Click on View, Command Palette. In the text box that comes up, type Python Select Interpreter. Click on the results that comes up, and a list of installed Python interpreters will come up. I only see Python version 3.7.3. .3. You might see more listed. Just click on the version you plan to use. If you're not sure, just select the latest version on your list. The Python environment is now set up. I'm going to test it by writing a sample hello world program. 
Let's do this by clicking on the explore icon on the top left. Right click on an empty area in this box. Click on new file. Then write down a name of hello world.py and hit enter. Some pop-ups will appear at the bottom right. Click on install on the linter pylint is not installed pop-up and just close the other one and wait for pylint to finish installing. Now I'll write out some sample code that will print out some text 100 times. I'm done and to run the code, click on run, then click run without debugging. And we will see the results at the bottom. And we are now ready to create our own Python projects. Are you using your Chromebook to code on it? If so, let me know in the comments. Anyway, if you found this video helpful, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you next time.